Hello and welcome to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we'll be taking a look at the Colts 3D Tom Riddle Diary. Before we get started, roll those credits. So, one for the Harry Potter fans out there. This is a model that I really love. Um, I love the simplicity of it, as well as how effective it is. Um, before we get started, let's do a quick 360 of it. Okay, welcome back. So this is the Tom Riddle diary from uh, from Colts 3D. Um, I really love the simplicity of this model. It basically prints in four parts. So you get this basilisk tooth, which prints like this. Um, it prints with very minimal supports. There's supports around here. And if anything, the support interface layer just adds to the raggediness of the tooth, which I really like. It prints with the diary. This prints as one, standing up looks brilliant, comes out really nicely. I love the sort of the burned effect that goes on the front of the book. And then there is the base, which prints as the base and then this standy up part that's glued in. Um, I love the simplicity of that. It's a super quick print to do. Um, I didn't have to scale it up or anything because this is life size. Um, the tooth goes in there and then you can banish a Horcrux with it, which I really like. Um, I, just, I just really like the way the overall effect came out. Um, it was super, super easy to paint this. The only part that really required any sort of painting at all was, um, was the basilisk tooth. So it's just an ivory paint with, uh, with a brown airbrush on it and then a sepia wash, just to try and give it that plaque look of, um, of sort of being in a basilisk. And then the book was paint the pages, paint the corners. I did do like a brown um, airbrush into, the, into this part here to make it almost look burned or corroded on the paper. Um, the only part that didn't come out particularly great was the plaque. You can actually see that, um, that the insides of the Ds, the Rs and the Os, um, those didn't actually print. Um, I should have just done it at a lower layer height, but at the time I was rushing through a few things. It didn't really twig that that wasn't going to print. So, uh, so yeah, so I just, I just ignored that bit. But yeah, a super effective little model, something that uh, I'll put the link in the video description. Anyone can print this. It's really cool. A nice little gift for anyone who's, uh, who's a Harry Potter fan. You can actually buy these as um, like resin models, um, as in like you buy them from a shop already finished. And they're like £85. I think this is maybe, um, so I think that I think the, the STL is like $10. Um, I'm pretty sure the, like the, Filament wise, you probably used, I don't even think I used half a spool on this. Um, I think it was like, because there were barely any supports. So I think I probably used a, a quarter of a spool, something like that. And then a 10 minute paint job. Nice and effective. And it's a really good gift for anyone who, uh, who loves Harry Potter. Um, in this case, it was a gift to me because I love Harry Potter. It's a good film. So uh, yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all soon. Thanks very much, guys.